Hello everyone, this is Prayanam. Welcome back to Knowledge of Maths. In today's video, we will learn Chapter 2 Whole Numbers from the textbook of CBSE Board and CRT Mathematics of Grade 6. So, let's start. Whenever we count, we start from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and so on. These numbers are called as natural numbers. So, the numbers which we use generally in counting are called natural numbers. The next concept comes predecessor. Okay. The definition of predecessor is when we subtract 1 from any number, we get the predecessor of that number. For example, if we have to find out the predecessor of 28, then we have to subtract 1 from 28. Therefore, 28 minus 1 gives us the answer as 27, which is the predecessor of 28. Okay. Next comes successor. The definition of successor is, when we add 1 to any number, we get the successor of that number. For example, if we have to find out the successor of 28, we have to add a 20, 1 in 28. Therefore, 28 plus 1 gives us the answer as 29. Therefore, the 29 is the successor of 28. Okay. To understand this in an easy way, just remember that the left side of a number is its before number or predecessor and the right side of a number is its after number or successor. Okay. Now, <coughs> in your textbook on the page number 28, you have these questions in the try this box. Let's solve them one by one. Here, this is the first question. The first question says that, write the predecessor and successor of these given numbers. So, let's find out them. Just first, first we will find out predecessor. Okay. So, the, um, uh, as we all know, to find predecessor, we have to subtract 1 from the given number. Here, the given number is 19. So, let's subtract 1 from this. We get the answer as 18. Therefore, the predecessor of 19 is 18. Next number is 1997. Let's subtract 1 from it. We get the answer as 1996. Therefore, the predecessor of 1997 is 1996. Next comes 12,000. Let's subtract 1. We get the answer as 11,999. Therefore, the predecessor of 12,000 is 11,999. Next number is 49. Let's subtract 1. We get the answer as 48. Therefore, the predecessor of 49 is 48. The next number is 1 lakh. We have to subtract 1. So, we get the answer as 99,999. Therefore, the predecessor of 1 lakh is 99,999. Now, let's find successor. The first number is 19. As we all know, to find successor, we have to add 1. So, let's add 1 in 19. We get the answer as 20. Therefore, the successor of 19 is 20. The next number is 1997. Let's add 1. We get the answer as 1998. Therefore, the successor of 1997 is 1998. The next number is 12,000. Let's add 1. We get the answer as 12,001. Therefore, the successor of 12,000 is 12,001. The next number is 49. We have to add 1. We get the answer as 50. Therefore, the successor of 49 is 15. The next number is 1 lakh. We have to add 1. We get the answer as 1 lakh 1. Therefore, the successor of 1 lakh is 1 lakh 1. Okay. Let's move to the second question. The second question is, is there any natural number that has no predecessor? Let's write the answer. The answer is yes. The natural number 1 does not have predecessor because predecessor means the number which exists before it. But there is no number before 1 and natural numbers starts from 1 itself. Understood now? So, let's see the third question. 
The third question is, is there any natural number which has no successor? Is there a last natural number? Let's see the answer. No, because there is no end for natural numbers and successor means the number which exists after it. Natural numbers are infinity means which does not have an end, abundance. Therefore, each natural number has successor. Okay. Now, let's move to the next concept. As you all know, these are natural numbers. But when we place 0 before natural number 1, we get the set of whole numbers. So, the natural numbers along with 0 form the collection of whole numbers. Okay? Now, let's solve the questions given on page number 29 in the try this boxes. Okay? Let's solve them one by one. Here, the first question is, are all natural numbers also whole numbers? Answer, yes. Because if we just add the number 0 before the first natural number 1, we get the set of whole numbers. Therefore, all natural numbers also whole numbers. Okay? Let's see the second question. Are all whole numbers also natural numbers? The answer is, no, because natural number starts from 1 and whole number starts from 0. So, 0 is not the part of natural numbers. Therefore, all whole numbers are not natural numbers. Okay? Now, let's see the third question. The third question is, which is the greatest whole number? The answer is... There are infinity whole numbers, so we can't say any particular number as greatest whole number, okay? Here, we will end up today's um, video and we will continue the remaining part in the next video. So, if you like my teaching, then please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Bye everyone!